This is the new royal class, and this time we'll be learning about day of the day. The day of the day, DR loves myrtles. Altos in our classroom represent these people which we celebrate in this form. We are all of those who we will remember for a lifetime and put them in a frame. Writing two sentences is why we pick who we were. This book is about the boy who loves the Mexican culture. Once upon a time there was a young boy called Mo. He loves the Day of the Dead because he now sees death as not so much of a bad thing. Every year the Day of the Dead is celebrated in Mexico. You can get lots of yummy food. Mo always gets a burger and hot dog. The Day of the Dead lasts from October the 1st. 31st Halloween to November the 2nd. Mo loves to tell people about the Day of the Dead. All of a sudden, Mo saw someone he knew faint. It was his mother. She sadly died. Mo was upset, and a few days later, he attended his mother's funeral. He recalled his last memories with her. Mo was never this sad. Even though his mother died, he still celebrated her. About the day of the dead. In the village, people were celebrating a festival. A little girl was next to her mom's grave. After that, she spotted a blue flower. She touched it and appeared under the ground where her mom was. The little girl fell down due to the blue flower that appeared. She met some skeletons which played breaking pinatas. Then she met a skeleton that took off the bandana and it was the little girl's mother. The little girl gets surprised and then realizes she is dreaming. Linda was crying at her mother's grave. A flower soon appeared and took, the skeleton, took her to the skeleton world. Linda fell really fast to the ground and met a skeleton. The skeleton took her to, to dress up and go to the festival. The skeleton turned into Linda's mother for, from the picture and gives Linda a blue rose and sends Linda back to the main world. The main uh, world. My book is about Day of the Dead. Uh, once there was a little girl named Monica who was crying at her dead mother's grave. Suddenly a beautiful blue flower grew beneath her hand and dragged her underground. Soon, Monica found herself lying on the floor with a, in a dark room. Petrified, she started running away, searching hurriedly for an exit, but bumps into three skeletons. Shockingly, instead of chasing her, they start to play lively mariachi music. Still scared by these sights, she runs away in the other direction, but bumps into another skeleton. The skeleton then hoisted her up into the air. Shockingly, she lands on a table. The skeleton then throws a mountain of food to her and she almost falls over. Still feeling like she was in a nightmare, Monica ran away as fast as lightning and jumped onto a giant balloon. Sadly, the balloon couldn't take her away, so she ended up plummeting all the way down and landed next to the same skeleton. Surprisingly, instead of ha um, harming the little girl, she took, her, she took her arm, took off her arm, put on a blindfold and tried hitting the, a piñata, but it dodged. Instead of running away, the girl laughed and broke the piñata using another skeleton's leg. The skeleton then picked the girl up and then they started running around, painting and got dressed into prettier clothes and then went to a place with lots of skeletons and started to dance. Just then, the skeleton magically transformed into the girl's mother. Shocked and joyful, the young girl started crying as she ran to her mother. As the little girl hugged her mother, as the little girl hugged her mother, knowing it might be the last time she ever, she ever might see her, she was magically teleported back into the land of the living. 
Shocked and amazed, she wondered whether this whole strange experience was just a dream. Then she noticed the blue flower in her hair. Overwhelmed with joy, Monica merrily skipped back to the village with her mind clouded with thoughts of this amazing event. There was a little girl called Ruby. She was visiting her mother's grave when a flower grew under her hand. She was pulled in and was greeted by many skeletons parting and they sat her down. They made her food and made her feel scared. But she thought she was going to get tired. There was a little girl named Coco. While she was celebrating the Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead, she visited her mother's grave. And then she gets pulled in. She gets pulled into the grave as she sees a skeleton band pop up in front of her. And then a and takes her to a very long wooden table with a cut out flower from a piece of fruit. Then she fell onto a bunch of balloons and saw her mother and they danced a little bit. This book is about Day of the Dead. One day a girl was crying at her mum's grave. Whilst the festival is happening in the village, suddenly a flower starts to grow and all all of a sudden it drags her into the ground where she she met a skeleton band who were playing a song as a skeleton comes and starts dancing then the skeleton gave her lots of bread and it all fell down as she looked up at it suddenly she fell onto a balloon then it popped and she landed on a pin Yata. After they started to paint her face, she got dressed and went to a festival where they danced. Suddenly the skeleton turned into her mum. They hugged and then the girl turned back to the cemetery. In the beginning of this story, there is one young boy decorating his father's grave. All of a sudden, a mysterious blue flower emerged from the ground. It grabbed him by his wrist and pulled him in to the ground. When he was underground, he saw a skull appear in front of him. Within seconds, the skull started playing music. A few seconds later, another skull grabbed him up from behind and put him in a, in a table. He ran out of the chair as quick as he can to get out of there. Whilst he was running, he all of a sudden ran on balloons. While he was bouncing all over the place, one balloon popped and he landed on a piñata. All, all of the skeletons tried to, their best to hit it, but one, but it kept moving. He grabbed the skeleton's leg and bashed the piñata. A few moments later, a skeleton appeared and picked him up and threw him in the air and caught him. While this was happening, he realised this is what his dad done with him. Once he stopped, the boy gave his dad a hug. Then, with a blink in the eye, his dad was gone, and then he walked away sadly into the festival. Once yeah. upon a time, there was a kid who celebrated her mum uh, because the whole village was celebrating the Day of the Dead. And she was at her mum's grave when she felt something under her hand, and she lifted her hand up, then went to the flower. It attached to her. The little girl got dragged under. Uh, she saw three skeletons. They had guitars and drums. They played a song. The young little girl was creeped out. She met another skeleton. She was scared when she dragged her knife out and cut the f a throat. She laughed and she danced and had fun. They went to the festival and had her mum and her mum spun around and turned back to a human. They danced and cuddled and she got she turned back. She wanted to go and see her mother's grave so when she got there she was picking flowers to put on her mother's grave. Then she saw a very beautiful looking flower and she went to pick it and it pulled her into the ground. When she hit the ground, she was petrified because there was four skeletons singing a Mexican song. 
Then the skeleton cut her a melon in the shape of a flower, but she was scared so she didn't eat it. Then she started to get um, less scared and more happy, and she started to dance with the skeletons, and now she wasn't scared at all. Then she, then, um, she, her and the skeletons were behind a wall, and they got changed into a blue dress. And when she, then she jumps off of a ledge and lands on a balloon. After that, a skeleton behind her pops the balloon and lands in another skeleton's hand. One of the skeletons turns out to be her mother and they have a fun time. They hug, they reunited, it was all a dream. The Dylan Mortos. It is a day of the dead and everybody is celebrating and having fun. A girl named Ashley visits her mother's grave. She was crying, but mysteriously, a blue flower grew. She tried to take it before going home, but it grabbed her and pulled her into the grave. She had woken up on the floor in a dark room and met a random skeleton that had picked the flower up and put it behind her ear. The skeleton gave her some food. She got thrown onto a giant balloon and kept having fun. They both played pinata. They both changed their outfits. They went to a festival and danced. The skeleton turned into her mother. Her mother hugged her and put the flower behind Ashley's ear. Then she magically returned back to the grave with her new outfit and the flower in her own ear. There was a girl named Marie. Her mother died of a heart attack. But one day a, fla a flower grew. However, it wasn't an ordinary flower. She got pulled through the ground, but she kept going. Suddenly she stopped. A skeleton appeared and took her through a changing room and came out in a pretty blue dress. She got to play pinata that had confetti inside. Soon after, the unknown skeleton went to the dance floor with Marie, following her behind. After a while, Marie realized it was her mother, but before she could say anything, she appeared back up to surface. The little girl went down to the festival thinking it was real, but who knows, maybe it was a dream. Spooky monster sneaked upon uh, Jacob, whispering, we're coming to get you. Help, screamed Jacob. His face turned pale. Ah, screamed Jacob, waking up from his nightmare. Yeah, his stomach rumbled. Uh, I need some food. Jacob looks around the room and... Uh, and screams, get out, mum, help, uh, don't worry, uh, we're your friends. What do you mean that my friends are dead, mumbled, uh, uh, that mumbled boy? No, we're here, whispered the skeletons. That makes no sense, they're dead last year. Uh, I know, we're dead, see? That, that they slowly evolve back into human. Oh my god, you are my friends, you old Jake, Jacob. Jacob woke up and realised it was all a happy nightmare. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Maria. She was visiting her father's grave. Her father had died a year ago of cancer. Maria was only 10 years old. All of a sudden, a flower grew up. Maria got pulled into the grave. And there was a man skeleton playing the trumpet and the singing. So Maria was so scared, she thought she died as well. Then another man appeared. It wasn't any man. It was a, it was a skeleton. She was so scared of she was running she was running, finding a way to get out. Somehow she felt comfort. She she thought to herself, why am I following this skeleton? This is strange. Where are we going? They ended up in a kitchen with sugar skulls. Maria instantly realised that these from the festival that took place in her hometown. The skeleton made of, was made of flour made of flour and they were carried on walking. They came to a line room with a piñata and some board games the, and balloons, lots of things. She played with the piñata with the skeleton and, let, and she played with balloons and she was having so much fun. They jumped on the bouncy castle and had a joke with other skeletons. Maria went to the dressing room as the skeleton gave her dress and told her to get changed. The dress was violet and so beautiful. The skeleton showed Maria to a festival with skeletons. The man, the man skeleton turned 
looked into Maria's father. Maria ran and hugged him so hard. Maria closed her eyes when she hugged her father, and when she opened them, she was on the grass where, uh, where she started. She ran down the road to tell her mother, and she was so excited to let her know that she had found her father. The there end. was a girl who visited her mum's grave. She was very sad, but then a magical flower appeared out of nowhere. She was going to grab it, but then she got pulled, and she was very scared. Then some music started playing. Then lots of lanterns appeared. Then she saw a skeleton that looked like her mother. The skeleton pulled her in a chair, then made her some food. Then she dressed her up, then they had a lot of fun. At the start of this story, a little girl goes and visits her mom at the graveyard. When it is Halloween, they celebrate Day of the Dead. The little girl goes girl went to the graveyard as she sat down and aimed a flower grew. The little girl went to pick it but it wrapped around her, her and pulled her in the ground. Under the ground there was more than one skeleton around her. She stood up and walked to, to a skeleton piñata. She pulled a skeleton's leg off and hit the piñata. All the glitter fell out. She went to a festival which had skeletons, glitter, food and dancing. As she turned around she saw her mum standing in front of her. She gave her mum a hug. Her mum put a blue flower on her and the little girl went back home wondering if it was her real or not. The sad girl went to visit her mother's grave. She was upset knowing she would never see her mother again. This was the only thing that she had left of her mother. She cherishes it every day. This beautiful blue flower suddenly bloomed. Little did she know this flower would open up gates she never knew. It brought the young girl into the underworld, filled with skeletons and bright bunting. At first she was scared, but who wouldn't be? Then she started to enjoy it. It was like back home. She saw a skeleton with a familiar outfit, but she couldn't tell where it was from. She soon realized it was her mother's day of the dead outfit. She went for a hug and, it suddenly, and suddenly the skeleton turned into her mother. Soon after she was back home, she knew she would never return. Her mother was very sad because her mother had died in the past. She was visiting her mother like she visited every year for the day of the day. She put a skeleton at the grave and the picture that's at the grave is the only one thing that she has got left of her. Maria saw a random blue flower slowly growing out of the ground. The pretty blue flower pulled her on the ground when she She meets a skeleton when she was underground. As she meets the skeleton band, she was really scared, but she still thought it was they were good. Maria got given a load of food. She was carrying a massive stack of food. A skeleton pushed her into a balloon, pile of balloons and and she fell in onto a piñata and her and a skeleton was playing it with it. After the piñata she got changed from her brown clothes into pretty into a pretty blue dress. Maria finds out that the skeleton she's been with the whole time was her mother. One day a little girl visited her mother's grave and she was very lonely without her. Something strange appeared from the ground. A bright, bright blue flower appeared from nowhere. The little girl grabbed it and it dragged her into the grave. While that was happening, there was echoes of loud music coming from the grave. As this beautiful blue flower appeared her, um, through her mother's grave, she grabbed the flower and it pulled her in. As she fell into the grave, a strange skeleton appeared in front of her.
The skeleton grabbed her hand and guided her through the maze of colourful lanterns that led to a dinner table. Force feeding her food, she followed another line of lanterns to an odd-shaped house. As she stood in front of in front of the house, a pinata appeared, and the unknown skeleton was swinging her arm around. As they finished, they both ran ahead to a, to a festival and danced for ages until something happened. As they were dancing to the music, the skeleton revealed, revealed herself and became her mother. Her beautiful mother gave her a bright blue flower as her hair accessory. In a blink of an eye, she was back at the grave.